Now, continuing for, from where I left off in my last video, because my screen recorder only allows me to record for 15 minutes, um, I'm going to teach you how to create your user in MTA so you can actually use your admin uh, abilities. Now to create a user, um, you would type in add account your username that you choose to use and then your password and um, it won't show up starred like this it'll show up uh, normally but I'm just using that as an example now I'm not gonna create an account because I already have an account so I'm just going to um, pretend that I made an account now once you hit enter it will will of course create the account now the only problem that you might experience with this is um, I will actually logging on to it now um, you don't log in through the console you actually log in on the game now um, let's say someone was to join your server and they wanted to create their own account well they couldn't create an account because it's not you're not supposed to it's actually um, it's not in the it's not oops I actually had a running it's not in the permissions you're not supposed to be allowed to when you first join the server if you're not like an admin or anything so what you want to do is um, what you want to do is add that permission which is down here under ACL equals name it'll say default and you'll have all this text now what you want to look for is close to the bottom it'll say add account so let me look for right here actually no it's up at the top it'll say write name equals command dot add account access equals and it should say false right here now what you want to do is change that to true so people can add their own accounts when they're playing make sure you're under default um, otherwise you won't be changing anything like if you're if you're under moderator it's always gonna say true so it won't matter anyway so make sure under default you set that to true once you set that to true you can save it again and load your server back up okay so I usually do this every time I restart my server I type in open ports just to make sure the ports are still running if not that means I need to check my network settings so it's just a little double check before I start my server now I'm going to open up MTA and show you how this all works I have Clio mods on here so it'll tell me I need that but you probably don't have Clio mods unless you modded it then you'll have that error too so just wait for it to load up once it's loaded up and I have it in small window mode which actually makes it easier so it actually allows me to screen record which is pretty cool I'm just gonna drag this one up here okay so click on server browser and <laughs> whoa it's been a long time um, go and type in MTA SA colon slash slash your IP address colon and then the port which is two two zero zero three and go ahead and favorite it if you want I'm gonna unfavorite my old one favorite it if you want and click this little I button to make sure it's actually running and it will say uh, coolio whatever your name is the name of your server the server address the game mode the map, the amount of players, if it's passworded or not, and the latency. If this is all available to read, it means your server is up and running. Now right next to the address bar, just click connect, and it will connect you to the game. Okay, so now we are in the game, and um, and as you can see, it's, uh, well, it's basically just like you're connected to another server which is what you actually want this is the best way to run your servers is separate from the game that way in case your MTA crashes your server is still running 
So, basically what you're going to do is, um, well, to test your um, login stuff, to see if your admin works, you're going to well, look at something that is clear, so you can see your chat. And hit the chat button, whatever your chat button is, I don't know, I'm not stalking you, so I wouldn't know. And type in forward slash login, and then your credentials. And then it'll say, login, you successfully logged in. Um, now, if you did set yourself to, um, to uh, admin, it'll say above that, press P to open your admin panel. So once you press P, it'll show all of this, which means that your admin stuff is working. Now, you can also test everything out, like click on your name um, and click on give yourself car. So that works. Uh, let's say I give myself an AK. That works too. Julio sauce. Okay, so all of my admin stuff's stuff is working. Now, as you can see, there's also a revoke admin rights. Make sure that you're not selecting yourself when you click this. And we'll just try not to click it unless you actually want to revoke someone's rights. Now it has a bunch of different things like your resources, maps, servers, bands, and admin chat. Now this admin chat is just a chat for all the admins, which is where all your friends would be if you're playing with them. Now to change your map, go under map, scroll down, and click on whatever you want to do and click start game mode with map. Now if that doesn't work, then that means you have to do it through the console, which means you will um, either pause and go through the actual console itself, or you can do it by typing it in like this and you just do start and then um, whatever your whatever map or game mode you're trying to start I'm just gonna start a map and I pick furnace and it'll just the map will just re-render itself and um, if it doesn't work through there, then you might have to do it through the console. I'm going to try that through the console. Start. Epic. And Furnace. And as you can see, it'll say start, requested by console, starting Epic and Furnace, and starting this map. And so now, if we teleport to where all of the stuff is, which I actually don't know where that place is. That's sad. Uh, well, this um, all this stuff in the map will be rendered differently. Now, let's say you did add the port, the two two zero one one port. This means you can type in start editor, and everything will uh, stop. Actually, I believe you have to do that through the console, too. Uh, start. Start. Eh, it's lagging out. Come on, server. Okay, there we go. It, it actually does work through there. Okay, that's good. That's good to know. Okay, so now I'm in editor mode. Um, it As it says in the top, warning, free roam resource is currently running. The resource has been shut off as a precaution. That doesn't really matter. It'll resume when you type in forward slash play again. Now, as you can see, this is part of my um, the map that I made. See, this is my epic and furnace because it's like half invisible. And then um, I got my little gun shop in there. Now, this is just a tiny map. I only made it to uh, demonstrate. So, uh, well, it's lagging out. I only made it to demonstrate, and I've already demonstrated it. So I'm going to show you how to go back to regular mode. Now my multi-theft auto is kind of glitching out, so I'm just going to do this through the console. So what you would do is you just, um, you can either type in stop editor, hit enter, and then hit start play. Or you can just directly go start play, and it'll automatically uh, close the editor. And if it doesn't, Then you can do the stop editor.
desktop editor. And then start play. <laughs> Sometimes your server will do this. Um, if it's running really slowly, it won't do it immediately, and you'll just be staring at nothing. So you just gotta continually do things. I'm gonna go stop play and retry that. Stop play. Start play. There we go. And then your person will load. So then you can, um, if you, now I can, uh, now I can show you. Uh, type in forward slash start, or not start, uh, play. Yeah, no, actually, if you're doing a map, then you would type in start. If you're doing a game mode, then you would type in play. So I'm going to type in start, epic, and furnace. And as you can see, the map will re-render the new items in this in the game mode you're playing, or the map you're playing on. Now my computer is being really laggy because, um, while I'm recording, but, um, you can play the game regularly. And the only difference is, um, you can't place AIs, like people who actually walk around. Uh, it's kind of a bummer, but eh, better than nothing. You can't do that in any um, MTA. You can only have other ple other people playing online or just static AIs, which is kind of pointless. Um, I put this one in here just for looks, but if I pick this up and I shoot him, he'll die, but he won't respawn, and... Um, it's kind of a waste of time and a waste of a, uh, an entity. So now there's just a dead guy there for the rest of the game unless you reload the map. But that's basically it for this tutorial, guys. Um, if you're an admin, you can also remove someone's account, which would kind of be mean, and I don't know why you would want to do that. But um, all if, if you need any more help, just go to the console, type in help. And all this, if you're an admin, should be available through the game, too. You can just type this in, like, if you want to ban someone. You could easily do it from here. Um, or if you don't want to be one, you can just type in, um, uh, just ban from there. The console. So, that is basically it for this tutorial, as I said before. Um, you guys should definitely check out my game. Uh, I, don't, I made a site for it specifically just to distribute it and I would appreciate it if you guys checked it out csmta.weebly.com now this is my free roam server my uh, coolio sauce free roam server this is basically just free roam and um, occasionally I will um, play actual games like load up actual games and um, right now I'm using a Weebly server but because I'm not making any money off of this is non-profit so you would appreciate donations so that we can actually get a real domain but right now all you do is just click play our server IPs right here and uh, you can play it if you want It'd be pretty cool um oh I forgot to show you also um if you're playing with other people, I would recommend making your own site also because it is helpful for people to know if the game is actually online or not because you do have to uh, have this running at all times if you're going to be doing this. So right now, it's um, I said uh, currently down for maintenance, no admins online, which is actually true because um, I had to uh, scan my computer for because uh, I had an, an engine problem. So I would recommend having this, and it would just make your server a lot more legitimate. More people will want to play it because they'll know what's going on, and it's just a good thing to have overall. And you can get free sites anyway, so might as well. So hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and watch my other videos because I have tons of helpful for 